Hello there, folks. My name's Brains, and I'm the chief designer and engineer here at A International Rescue. Welcome to the first in a series of briefings about some of the most advanced machinery in use in the 21st century. As agents of I International Rescue, you have been granted security clearance by our commander, Jeff Tracy, but watch out for any suspicious activity d d during our briefing. You can never be too careful when there are enemies like the hood and the loose. Now that we've taken care of the formalities, let's begin. In this briefing, we're going to be discussing the technical specifications of Thunderbird 1. Thunderbird 1 is the hypersonic first response craft used by International Rescue. It is piloted by Scott Tracy, the eldest of the Tr Tracy brothers. Scott served in the U.S. Air Force and gained a lot of experience handling high-speed experimental craft, making him the perfect choice to pilot Thunderbird 1. Constructed at a top-secret purpose-built hangar, Thunderbird 1 was the first of the five primary international rescue craft to be completed, hence its designation. Thunderbird 1 stands 90 feet high and is stored under the Tracy Island Villa, accessed by a hidden walkway behind a rotating panel in the lounge. Standing with his back to the wall, Scott grips the lamp brackets on either side of him, causing the wall panel to rotate. He, he then transfers to a moving walkway, which delivers him to the cockpit in the nose cone of Thunderbird 1. As Scott changes into his duty uniform, the craft rolls down the ramp into the launch hangar. The hangar is located directly below the Tracy Island swimming pool, and this slides to one side to provide clearance for the craft to pass through. Once in position, Scott fires the motors, and the Th Thunderbird 1 surges up into the sky. Scott can then transition the craft into horizontal flight mode as he speeds towards the source of the distress call. Thunderbird 1 can reach speeds of up to 15,000 miles per hour, giving Scott the best possible chance of reaching the danger zone and carrying out an assessment before f further action is taken. When traveling at top speed, Thunderbird 1 flies with its variable geometry wings folded in, giving the craft a rocket-like profile. On arrival at the danger zone, Scott will usually be required to land and deploys Thunderbird 1's wings so that the wing-mounted landing gear may be used. The landing gear was originally designed with wheels attached, but a later retrofit replaced these wheels with the current landing pads. A powerful rocket motor helps slow the craft as it lands. Useful when a pinpoint accurate landing is required. Thunderbird 1 is capable of handling many rescue scenarios without the need for heavy rescue support, thanks to the equipment arsenal at Scott's disposal. A powerful machine cannon is housed in the underside of the craft's nose and can be used to clear hazards and carry out demolition work. There is also a multi-purpose launch platform which can be outfitted with a variety of mission-specific equipment such as a, a fire suppression system and a battery of high tensile spears. Thunderbird 1 is equipped with a versatile winch for airlifting trapped personnel or small vehicles, and this can also be used to stabilize damaged structures. Recent additions to Thunderbird 1's detection equipment include a sensitive metal detector, which can detect metal objects from a height of 1,000 feet and a sonar probe system used for detecting stricken craft on the seabed. 
when hazardous situations prevent direct line of sight with people in distress, Scott can make use of Thunderbird 1's remote-controlled hovering camera. This small drone can withstand extreme heat and harsh conditions in order to relay video images back to Thunderbird 1. When the situation demands a more hands-on approach, Scott can disembark Thunderbird 1 and operate from the International Rescue Mobile Control Unit. Functioning as a self-contained command center, the Mobile Control Unit provides Scott with all the facilities necessary to direct many of the rescue situations he encounters. Pardon me for a moment, folks. Brains, get down to Thunderbird 2 immediately. I'll explain later. Right away, Mr. Tracy. I'm afraid we'll have to leave it there for today, folks. I, I, I hope you enjoyed our briefing. S so long for now.